Welcome to App Design Tips. I'm here at Adobe Max taking a look at the new Adobe XD. So I want to show you one of my favorite features, and this is they announced states are coming for Adobe XD. This is the most requested feature for a long time. I think they had over 10,000 votes for this feature. And the way that they pulled this off is really creative. So before, to illustrate states like a hover state or a click state, um, the multiple combinations of states that you have inside one interface, you would have to probably create 100 different artboards to prototype that the best way. And um, I wanted to show you just a simple button and the way that states are going to work inside of a button. Now it's really powerful, but everybody uses buttons, so I just want to show you in this demonstration how that performs. So we have the shape and we have a text layer here. So the first thing we want to do is create a component. So how we create that component is just go over here into our assets panel over here, and we can just click click on the plus right here, plus component. And let's just double click and call this button. So we have our first button component, and this is normal to what we probably used to in Adobe XD. But you can see over here under design, we have a default state. That's just the one state that it starts out with. But if you click plus, probably the most common state is going to be the hover state. So if we click hover state here, and we can just name this, keep it named hover state. Um, we can jump into here and start editing this in this hover state. And so I'm going to go into my blue color here. We can lighten this up just like that. And now when I go into prototype, I'm going to click right here, go back into the default state. When I hit prototype, then it say it already connects this over. So I click on hover state right here. It says, when I hover, I'm going to auto animate to the hover state. So now when I click play, you can see that's exactly what it does. We have our hover state. It's just with a few short clicks, we have that hover state. It's really awesome. I'm going to go a little bit further. We're going to create a click state. So I'm going to hit plus, and let's just call this click. And with the click state, um, before we even design the click state, we can go back into our default state. So let's move on over to default state here. And we have a hover state, but let's add a new interaction here. Let's say when we tap on this, it shows we have two states now, tap and hover. When we tap, let's auto animate to the click state. And so we already have that animation working, but in order to design that, let's jump back into design. We can go back into our click state here. And let's just do some wild stuff here. I'm just gonna rotate this shape. Let's rotate it here. And I'm gonna hold down shift to lock that. We're going to expand this shape, something like that. And let's change the color here to maybe more of like an orange or a red color. So we've just done a few changes. We're gonna jump back into play right here. And I actually have to undo this. We're going to click back in here. I actually, in the click state, I wanna create a new interaction. So let's click prototype here. Uh, new interaction on here. We're gonna tap to auto animate back to the default state. So now everything should be linked up. We tap, it's default, we have the hover state, we click, and it jumps right into that click state. So we have three different states. We have the default, the hover, and the click. And the nice thing about this is if we save this in our components library, and let's say we have 10 projects that are using this button, we can save this and share this in one project, share it to those other 10. If you jump back in here and you want to change the look of that state, you can do that and it reflects upon all your other projects. So it's really powerful. And they illustrated a few designs where they have hundreds of different UIs. You can toggle switches back and forth and multiple different things within one interface. And it's all designed with multiple states in one artboard. So it makes the organization much simpler and it's super powerful. I suggest you check it out and do things beyond just the buttons. And let me know what you're going to use states for and go ahead and share your designs with me. I'd love to give you some feedback. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite feature is in Adobe XD.